Hello everyone, and welcome to the final Twitch stream. I know, it's sad. But, I decided this only because I put all my content on YouTube anyway, after I'm done Twitch streaming. But, there's more editing time, which occasionally I forget. Not even occasionally, a lot of the times I forget. And, to stream on YouTube, it just goes instantly on there, so I don't have to edit it. Unfortunately, there'll be no more intros or outros. Which kind of sucks, but to have it just on YouTube is way more convenient than just to edit it and things. So, what we're going to do is this. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be the final Twitch stream. We're going to stream from now on on YouTube Gaming or YouTube whatever. I don't know what it's called. But, yeah, we're going to be streaming on there. Uh, things will be on there. There'll be no intro, but it'll be easier for me. Only because, um, when, uh, because I do the other channel too, the Annie Hive channel, which is just a bunch of anime content and stuff, and that editing is more intensive than this editing, but even still, this is still editing, and editing is time-consuming and tedious, and I can't do everything, so it's just easier for me to stream on YouTube, so that it's already there, and I don't have to edit it, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna do that, so, if you're interested, uh, follow me on, uh, any hive gaming on YouTube, it should be in the description below. Um, if you're interested to continue watching me and my escapades, but yeah, that is what's gonna happen. Anyway, we're gonna continue with uh, Shin Megami Tensei 3 as per usual. Bad news though, I think the yeah, the game looks bad again. Give me one second, I'm gonna come back. I'll be back. BRB, BRB. All right, looks way better now, so we're gonna continue. Can you believe that we're 11 hours into the game and I feel like nothing has happened yet? I really do be like that. All right, so what am I doing? I think we're going to the third floor. Yeah, I think we should be going to the third floor. It's not too surprising. Isn't the game pretty long? That's true, but think about Persona 4. In the first 10 hours, we got introduced to the characters, we got introduced to the world, we got to the first dungeon, and I think we finished the first dungeon. In this game, Tokyo turns into what it is, and then we stumble around a bunch of different places, and then we fight some bosses, we fought uh, Matador, and we fought Thor, and just now we're getting more information about, hey, what's going on, you know, with the mantra and your friends getting uh, lost, and they're found in this place, and they're not like demons, they're just normal people, and... Nothing's really happening, honestly. <laughs> the game's like 60 hours long, so yes. Alright. There's a question mark. I have a feeling someone is... Okay, yeah, I forgot. Bicorn is... Stunned or something? But I don't know what item can get rid of that. It's not mute, it's not poison, it's not charm, it's not stone, so it's literally nothing. Maybe someone has a skill that can get rid of it. I don't think so though. Trash. Yeah, I don't know how to get rid of it. It's just stuck on Bicorn forever, I guess. I think this one's weak to ice. I was correct. 
and watch this, watch this. Boom! So at the Nintendo conference the other day, they announced, or they showed more gameplay for um, SMT5, and it looks the exact same as this game, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Like, you're in a post-apocalyptic Tokyo, your character gets abilities from the specific demon, all the demons are the same, the gameplay is the exact same with the uh, press turn system, and yeah. But I don't know, I don't have the game yet, so I don't know anything about it. So I can't really make that much of a judgment yet. But yeah, it looks a lot like this game. I mean, I'll still get it, and I'll probably play it on stream, too, but it just looks similar. Get to floor 60. We have to wait? Oh my gosh. I guess anticipation. Do you plan on streaming the whole series, like Persona? Uh, probably not, no. I mean, I'll play some of the Shin Megami Tensei games, but I don't want to play every single one. There's a lot of them. Persona only has five games. Six if you include Persona 2. But yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. I might just play through the mainline games, maybe. Because uh, I want to play through 3, and I want to play through 4, but 4 is only on the 3DS, so that's going to be a little tough. Um, 5 is coming out on the Switch, so I can play it on the Switch. Um, 1 and 2 are kind of hard to find. I think they're on PC. I can't remember, but both those games were on SNES. I think the second one was on PlayStation. I can't... I don't know. Um, let's see here. There's a lot of spinoffs. Uh, Digital Devil Saga is one that I really want to play. That's on the PS2, so I have to find that somewhere. Uh, the Rido games are on the PS2 as well. You can buy them on the store, the PS3 store, so that's not too bad. I think you can buy Digital Devil Saga on the store too, so that's not too bad. Uh, there's a Devil Summoner games. Not Devil Summoner. Uh, Devil Survivor. Don't like those games. They're strategy RPGs, and I hate strategy RPGs, so I'm not playing those games. And I think that's it. But there's a lot of games in the SMT franchise. I just want to play 3 because everyone really likes 3. It's really high. Jump off? What? No. <laughs> yeah, I just want to play 3 because 3 is really highly regarded in the SMT franchise. Same with 4. But 4 is on the 3DS, so that's going to be kind of tough. Oh, what crit. I'm not gonna heal Bicorn. I hope he dies so that he gets that thing off of him. Sweet to electric, okay. I don't think anyone has Mazio. Oh, big miss. Just kidding. Huh. Dead. I think I've gotten used to like the the muted uh, music. It's sad, but it's true. to get more of those uh, SP up things. But I have to go back to Ikabukuro to do that. Not Ikabukuro. That one place. That I can't remember off the top of my head right now. But 
but I don't, uh, yeah, I don't have any SP recovery items. Sucks. We're just gonna auto. Hmm. Let's jump off and see what happens. Jump off? Yes. Are you sure? I don't know, am I sure? Yes. Ha! <laughs> of course you take damage. Oh my gosh, everyone is at one. I mean, it's a quick way to get down. We just need to go back to, um, somewhere. We're going to Ginza? No, it's the underpass, I think. skipped it. Alright, back to the underpass so we can get some things. Hello there. Mm -hmm. Hello there. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. That okay with you? Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're the greatest, thanks. Hey yo! Hey yo! Mm -hmm. mm. Hey yo! A present for you. Got it. I got another lucky ticket. Alright, back to wherever we were. That's the wrong room. Back to Ikabukuro. Skip the cutscene again, because it takes forever. Man, I noticed this, but as soon as we leave, we get um, a thousand views on our Twitch channel. Hopefully people will recognize that I'm switching over to YouTube and follow suit, but not everyone does. That's just how it goes. Well, let me save, actually. I always feel weird about these kinds of games because I like them, but I can't play them all the time because, you know, you guys obviously know. I stop a lot because I'm just like, I don't want to play this anymore, or like, right now and stuff. And then, but I always come back to them because they're a lot of fun. It's just, I just can't play them constantly. Especially if it's a game like this, where it's just grinding. Just grinding games are rough. <laughs> With Persona, there's a lot of- there's fun breaks between each battle. You can do like sh social link stuff and like interact with friends and, you know, do all that. But in this game, it is straight, like, grinding. And with those types of games, it's kind of rough.
Okay, I don't remember what everything is weak to. I think the two are weak to ice, and then that one's weak to electricity. I'm so good. Oh, I'm so good. Demi Fiend Punch! Got him. Let's go to the Cathedral Shadow so we can fuse Personas. We can't do it right now. I hate that um, Persona in the middle. He's only weak to nerve moves, I think. And it's bad. <laughs> Okay, he has weak to nerf moves. I just want to. Ooh. And by corn leveled up. Moragi is on what's his face, right? Yeah, I think so. Chain of skill, let it continue? Nope. Bicorn looks disappointed. Stay disappointed, because it always turns into something horrible. Welcome to the Cathedral, Cathedral of Shadows, Shadows, where demons gather. Where demons gather. Yo, can I look at what Flatter, Sexy Gaze, and Wing Buffet are? I don't know what they are. One thing I do have to say about Twitch compared to um, the YouTube streaming is whenever I do a YouTube streaming, the viewer, sh the viewer count goes up and down constantly. While it is on Twitch, it's just occasionally. Because I think more people are more willing to actually just sit down and watch stuff on Twitch, whereas on YouTube, people don't really want to do that, I think. Man, it would be nice if I could just look at these skills, you know? Do I need his aura? What's his stats? No, I don't. I can't make this guy. He has focus, which could be helpful. Can't make that girl. Naga? Can't make him. Unicorn? I could make him. And he has Mabufu. That's actually hype. But I have to get rid of Jack-O-Lantern and Azora. That ain't good, my guy. Let's see. Alright. Let's select the skills. Alright, so. Analyze, we don't need. Venom Bite, we also don't need. Tarunda, we definitely need. Hama, we definitely need. Uh, Ice Breath, no. Muragi, yes. Dia, yes. I, does anyone have Dia? This is the worst. I hate fusing because it takes so long. No, no one else has Dia. I thought someone else had Dia. Bicorn is Media, but not Dia. Wait, I have Dia. But it would be nice for someone else to have Dia too. Alright, so Tarunga, Hama, Muragi, Dia. Oh, no one has Muzio. That's a 
That's not good. Use blob into something, blob is trash. This one has Zong Geo, which is pretty cool. I don't know what Light Toma is. Tarunda. Wait, do we need Tarunda? Doesn't anyone, doesn't someone else have Tarunda? Yes, Zora. Are you sure? No. Flex skills. Someone else have Rakunda? I think so, yeah. Oh wait, I pressed the wrong person. So This one and Tarunda, right? Okay. Are you sure? Yep, I am sure. I don't need to watch Cutscene. Me, Raiju the Wilder. Me eat everyone. Alright. Bicorn, Kelpie, maybe? Incubus? Full way. Hmm. That should be fine for now, I think. I'm gonna put Fornius in my party, I think. Uh... Yeah, we're putting Fornius in. Alright, Fornius, learn good move, please. people. It's going this way. full stuff. Yeah. Alright. Gotta save again. Now we're gonna go to floor 60 again. I'm surprised the jump off the tower doesn't kill you. 
It leaves you with low health, but like, it doesn't kill you. I'm surprised. I guess the Demi Fiend is just too strong. We gotta get her. We gotta make her way to the elevator. Sixty. Oh, we're gonna have to watch it go up to sixty again. Gosh dang it! That's so boring. I hate that. Why can't it just auto skip? I didn't realize this, but this game loads faster because it's on the PS5. It makes sense, but I didn't expect that because, you know, I didn't have it on the PS4. I bought the PS4 version, but I'm playing it on the PS5, and it loads pretty fast. And I thought that was just how the game is, but I was uh, wrong. So. Alright, up we go. You can skip that, okay. I didn't know that. Zeo, right? We're gonna go with yes. Ability with someone. Are you asking me out? Now let me see. Your powers. Let me drain some of your energy. Then I'll think about it. Alright, sure. This taste is to die for. It's still too little, Sob. Give me one chocolate drop. Okay. Sorry, I know it's kind of annoying, but I can't join you. Make do with this. Wow, I'm so angry. After I gave you so much, you give me nothing. Oh, that was a cash cube. Oh, that's a lot of money. Or a maca, I should say. Punch. Oh, nice crit. Mm. Dead boy. Mm. Need a rush. Need a rush. Ha. One of them is stunned. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Dead. Oh, another enemy. Alright, let's try this time. You asking me out? 
Give me 390 Maka. Still too little. Give me 200. I can't decide. Nag. Who are you? Shoo, shoo. There was no effect. How can I live on that? Give me 230 Maka. I trust you, but just a little more, alright? 320. For joining you, let me get your opinion. I wonder, do flowers ever worry about the color of the flower next to it? Everyone is such a nuisance, right? It's a pain, alright. Huh. Oh, she's displeased? I can't do as you say. No! I was thinking it might have been the opposite answer, but I put that answer just to be safe, and I was wrong, so... Demons be annoying sometimes. All right, let's try again. You asking me out? I don't know. Give me 500 maka. It's still too little. 270. How can I live on that? 330. Oh darn! I was on an errand. I'm sorry, I need to go. I, I hate this. I'm not getting this persona. Or this demon. I don't care. We're not going for it anymore. I hate your race and you should all die. It's just in-game. It's not real life. I feel like there might be something here. Watch me have to fight someone and then I don't have like any anything to really use. Alright. Open door. Gotta meet Gozu Tenno. You sense a strong power from beyond the door. Will you enter? Yes. Big boy. Welcome, Demi Fiend. It is an honor to receive you. Welcome, Demi Fiend. I am Gozu Tenno. As the head of the mantra, I lead the demons that gather here. I was truly impressed by your battle, the emergence of a new, mighty demon. It is remarkable indeed. But first, let me reward you. Please accept this gift. You receive power from Gozu Tenno. You can now employ two additional demons. <gasps> I can s Wait, I can summon two additional demons? That's hype, actually. Think about it. Indecisive, are you? If you serve me, I can release your innate power. I can see that you are interested in the mantra. 
but not totally convinced. If that is the case, you may observe us first, and then decide. Although, I believe your destiny is to fight alongside us. Now, as you may already know, our enemy is the Assembly of Nihiro. They are threatening us with their plots to bring the world to a halt. We can no longer overlook their madness. So I have made the decision. We, the Mantra, will wage war on Nihilo and obliterate them. I have already ordered my soldiers to attack their Red. headquarters Rip the in Giza. If you call yourself a demon, make haste to Giza. Crush those who pose a threat to the world. I am Gozu Tendo, the one who will rule the kingdom of chaos. Hmm. What shall I do? Shall I join him? I don't know. We gotta look from both sides first. Should I join the Nihilo or the Mantra? The Mantra seem like rude people to me. It says I can employ two more demons. Oh, oh, oh in this in this little slot thingy. Oh, I thought it was two more demons in the actual party. That would be sick, but I think that'd be super overpowered. You'd have so many moves against enemies that have like literally nothing. So. Okie dokie. We're gonna take a quick break. I will be right back. Okay. Back we go. <clears throat> uh, let me change something real fast and we can start. Away we go to Ginza. I, oh yeah, I had to put my clothes in the wash, that's why. Uh, I had to take a break. <clears throat> Take the elevator down this time because I don't want to go all the way down that way. Unless. There it is. We just hit a thousand views. A thousand and one views to be exact. Crazy, I know. I've been streaming on here since like 2019, I think. So it's been a while. Hopefully we'll get a new audience on YouTube gaming, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe more people look at Twitch. I don't know. Maybe we'll try it for a little bit and see what happens. And if it's not going well, then maybe we'll come back to Twitch. Who knows? But for right now, this will be the final Twitch stream. This one's weak to... something. We'll get Charmed Boy. Let's 
doing it again. The screen looks bad. Why does it keep doing that? Today it's been really bad. It's been doing that constantly. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Anyway, we'll just stop streaming and just come back again as per usual. Um, I'll be right back. BRB. Getting kind of upset that my stream keeps looking like that. Lots of artifacting and stuff, and like it looks kind of fuzzy and things. Usually the way to fix it is to turn up the bitrate, which I do, but for some reason today it's just way worse. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know exactly how to fix it. On my other computer though, the stream just freezes, but this little fuzzy thing never happens. <clears throat> so I don't know. I'm excited because July is coming around, and in July we're going to be playing some The World Ends With You. But we got to finish this game first, so... Really excited for that new The World Ends With You game. Very excited about that game. They said that they're trying to retain the spirit of the original while also making something kind of new and fresh, so I'm pretty excited. I'm excited to see how the combat system is going to be. Because obviously it's not on the DS anymore, so they got to make it something interesting again. What? Who knows what it's going to be? I don't know. It could be anything. But I'm excited to find out, and I will find out when we play the game in July. So. No More Heroes 1 and 2 is confirmed. We're playing it on the Switch. Before, I was like, I'm not sure if my copy's gonna come in time because I got it, and it's like a limited run copy. Because the No More Heroes 1 and 2 on the Switch is not a physical copy, it's only a digital copy. But through this company known as Limited Run Games, they do limited run of uh, digital games, and there are one oh, one of the limited run copies was No More Heroes 1 and 2 in like a bundle set, so I was like, I have to buy this. So I bought it, and <clears throat> when I bought it, it wasn't even made yet, so they're just like, well, just wait until we're finished with it, and then wait until we ship it. And I just got the confirmation the other day that they're shipping it soon, so I'm excited. And then we'll play that on stream in August, even though I want to play it really bad. I've already played that game a couple times. Go back to the Ikabukuro terminal. Alright, about to save. About to do some more things and buy some stuff. Do we need to go to the Cathedral Shadows? I don't think so. Hello there! Mm -hmm. Hello there! Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Mm, these are all kind of bad. Hey, really oh, you these. got it. Got it. All right, time to go to Ginza. Ginza time.
I want to save again. So where in Ginz am I supposed to go? These are the only two places, I'm pretty sure. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Let's go to that bar place and see what's up. Dun, dun. Dun. These enemies kind of suck. like I want to watch so many shows and then I never watch any of them there's so many shows from last season like anime wise that I just didn't watch and I'm like man I want to watch all these shows but then I never I don't say I'd never have time to well it's kind of I never have time to I always door dash or like I always uh, am editing or something so then I usually don't really have time to or it's like I want to do something else like I don't want to edit and stuff you know or not at it. I don't want to um, watch. Well, take a look. Full MP recovery for one ally. Whoa. Revise one ally to full HP. Whoa. That one's good. That all? <laughs> take a look. Pot of death. Oh my god. That all? <laughs> take a that all? <laughs> take a look. Anything yes. take a look. Take a look. Anything yes. take a look. Anything else. Take a look. Anything take a look. Come Anything again. else. Come again. That boy's voice. Oh, I'm in the wrong room. Nihilo's base is southwest of Ginza in Shio Dome. Oh, whoops, yeah, that's true. Is it unlocked now? I don't know, actually. Yes. Beat the fire, right? Yes, it is. So the mantra attacked the assembly of Nihilo. Think they stomped them flat? I don't know, did they? Oh, we can enter this time. The Assembly of Nihilo. This is a cool looking place. Ha! World of Stillness, Creation, yeah, right. The Assembly of Nihilo is in shambles, ha ha. We already destroyed the core, it's all over for Nihilo, the mantra have won. Our teacher should be here, I think. That's what that one guy said. Select the floor. Uh, basement one, I guess. What an elevator. I haven't seen the commander of the maiden at all. Oh well, we got the treasure anyway. There's an item here. You see a cash cube, we open it, it's empty. Wow, really? I didn't know that items could be like that. That's trash. You're the demon that won the trial, so you decided to come join us, huh? 
Well, you're too late. We already finished our attack. Ha ha ha. I was too slow. Oh, item. Will I open it? It's empty. Why are these all empty? Well, this floor had nothing. Let's go back to the first floor because there was another door. Maybe it was just like a door with like a demon in it or something. Wow, what do you know? It's even worse. It's a floor with literally nothing in it. Now I'm gonna go to basement two. B2. Ugh. The round thing of ahead is the core, the heart of this structure, or at least it was. The whole thing happened pretty fast. So is the report about needing to kill, needing four killers to unlock the core a hoax? Well, Neil probably got scared of the mantra and ran away. Huh. What's this way? A room with nothing. Great. I hate when they do that. What's the point? Huh? I can hear something coming from that door. We won. What's there to worry about? Do you hear sounds coming from inside this room? We enter? No. Let's try the other rooms first. Oh. The floor is too unstable to proceed ahead. That was weird. Will you enter? Yes. Hey, look who it is. <gasps> Thank God it's just you. I thought it was being ambushed. Way to give a guy a heart attack. What is he doing here? Well, at least we're both here in one piece. Listen, I'm sorry I got you stuck last time. I know I screwed up, but... It's actually a good thing I did. See, I never thought their base would be this massive. And had I sent you here alone, you'd be here all day scratching your head. That's because you wouldn't have me to clue you in. You wouldn't have me to clue you in. Anyway, the mantra launched their attack at just the right time. Thanks to them, I was able to slip in unnoticed. Yeah, I was gonna say, how did you get in? Hey, call me crazy, but you didn't actually join the mantra, did you? Why would I do that? So it's just a rumor. You just seem a lot stronger, so I thought it might be true. My mistake. <coughs> Moving along. This entire room is a facility for collecting Magatsuhi. Magatsuhi, that's how you say We're it. We're at the center of the big hole you can see from outside. Since most of it got wrecked in the assault, it's no longer operational. Right before that, it was filled to the brim with Magatsuhi. Then those mantra guys stormed in and busted up the place. And why wouldn't they? What else would this be but the Nihilo's very core? You'd think one might have stopped to consider that maybe they were playing right into Hikawa's hands. If I hadn't used the Amala network to get here, I wouldn't have noticed either. But something's very off about the flow of Magatsuhi here. It's cleverly disguised, but this magnificent contraption is nothing more than bait. The real core must be located somewhere else inside the base. And that's where we'll find Akawa. Uh-oh. What's going on? Damn. Maybe I'd better not stick around. I know the mantra's commotion has pretty much died down. That being said, there's still more danger to come. As much as I wanted to see Akawa in person, I doubt I can make it to him alive. 
so I've got no choice but to head back. On your way here, did you see a corridor you couldn't enter? One that was spinning? I managed to deactivate it. So you should be able to go through now. Easy. Gotta admit, I stopped trying to follow the plot of this game a long time ago. I don't really know exactly what the plot is. I think you're just trying to figure out what happened to Tokyo and why Nihilo is doing the things that they do. Because once you start the game, the teacher's just like, we want to stop the world and stuff. If you come find me, then I'll let you know everything that's going on. And I think that's it, honestly. Shin Megami Tensei games aren't really known for their story, I don't think. I think Shin Megami Tensei 4 actually does have a story in like different, like, well-developed characters and stuff. That's why I want to play that one the most. But, um, it's on the 3DS, so it's gonna be kind of hard. It's about all the help I can give. Dealing with Hikawa is all on you. You've come this far, so there's no point turning back now. Good luck. Alright, we can go through this room now. The floor is stable. Select the floor. Oh, here we go. B10. Are we gonna have to fight Hikawa? I don't think he has a. Oh no, he has a demon. Oh, it's like it's like a hilly structure. It's like it goes up and down. You sense a strong power coming from beyond the door. Will you enter? Not yet, let's see everyone's health and stuff. We enter, yes. Those idiot mantra demons fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. They're probably high-fiving each other, thinking they destroyed the core unit. Power is nothing without brains. It ain't the size of the muscle, but how you use it, you know? Hmm? Who are you? Hmm, I don't know who you're with, but it looks like you have some brains. You just want to make a name for yourself by taking command of Hikawa's head, huh? Just our luck, we're getting bored of the mantra stupidity. We need to welcome our guests and show them off comfortably to the afterlife. <laughs> Die! Those are easier than I thought. You obtain the yellow Kila. Oh. We need three more, right? Yellow Kila? Yes. There's one. Of course there's a save point here. That's good. Trader. Do you come here after Commander Hikawa? Yes. Commander Hikawa is on floor B15 of the core, but you need four kilas, stakes that control the Magushi in the structure to get them. You saw those four pedestals on the way here, right? Use the kila there. Occasionally there are visitors like you, but they all disappear up ahead. They all fall prey to the traps made by the great Commander Hikawa. 
So why tell you all this? I figured you have the right to know before you die. Oh, I, I've seen this room before. I always see this room in like trailers and stuff. Looks pretty cool. Electricity. Okay. Expecting this, and it happened. Of course. If you block the scrub. This is the storehouse from Agatsushi. Separating the three floors and each leads to a storeroom where the kilo is kept. You see that switch? It's set up so it changes the flow of Magutsuchi. In other words, if you don't use the switches properly, you'll never make it to the storerooms. Uh oh. You see a cache cube, we open it, we obtain Tetra Rock. Switch. Will you operate it? Yes. Hmm. Okay. This reminds me of the puzzle in Persona 5. There's a puzzle that's just like this one where you have to like hit panels. Well, this one is flipping blocks so that you can create paths and stuff. The one they have in Persona 5 is you hit a bunch of like switches on the ground and you have to make them all light up a specific color. And once you do, a uh, door opens. Oh, there's one really annoying puzzle in Persona 5. Uh, in Royal, in the final dungeon, the secret dungeon. Oh my gosh, I've done that puzzle is so annoying. There's like a bunch of colors, and when you activate a color, it activates a path that opens, and you gotta figure out which path is the correct path. And it sucks. It really does. Okay, we did it. That wasn't so hard. They're all weak to Zeo, I'm pretty sure. Descend down a ladder. Oh no, there's more. Let's just go through this door first. In each of the storerooms is a demon guarding the Kila. Even if someone were to make it that far, they'd be killed anyway. 
So there's nothing for us to panic about. That's where you're wrong. It's like a staircase. White treasure room. You sense a strong power. We enter. Yes. It's Iligor, one of the fallen angels. I guard this Kila under the order of our commander. Now you seem to have some brains, unlike those mantra fools. I like those with intelligence. To show you my respect, I will kill you painlessly. I won't let you have the Kila. Die. We'll see who's stronger. What did that do? Elagor is weak to ice in Persona 5, so we can see if he's weak to ice here. Well, he dodged. Oh, one of them absorbs fire. That's not good. It's not weak to ice here. Prize there. Zeal? Oh, Allegor is weak to Zeal. Boofu. Oh, well, it got frozen, so that's good. Easy crit. That move kills you instantly. Get punched. Ooh, can't use you. Health does he have? I still don't know what this girl is weak to. Whoopsies, it was fire. I meant to do ice. Ah, got him. White Kila one. Let's go. That's Kila number two. Time to get Kila number three. these things we do. I don't remember. Curse. Ooh, I don't, have, I don't think I have any curse moves. Oh, 
Oopsies. No! Nothing now. Oh, they block wins, of course. Will this work? Okay, it will be, I was gonna say. Anti-ice lowers ice damage sustained by 50%. We don't need it, I guess. Change the skill, let it continue. Ha! Nope. Jack Lantern looks disappointed. Jade. Well, that's too bad. We listen? Sure. That was a great fight, a real he hoot. You're a powerful hope. A real he hot shot. Here, ho, a token of my friendship. I'm he honored to fight your side. Attract pipe, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's something good. What's through this door? Oh, it's a save point. Try the switch again. Hmm. Do I have to operate the one from upstairs? Ugh. Survival bead? Yes. Thanks. Here's some cash. Take it. Great. Oh, got him. Oh. 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 Alright. Switch off. I don't 
don't understand why this game is so popular. It seems pretty standard to me, but I don't know that much about JRPGs. I think this game is more of a cult classic rather than like super popular because it's the best, apparently it's the best game in the Shin Megami Tensei 3 franchise because it's what Persona 3 did to Shin Megami Tensei because this game revolutionized a lot of the combat and stuff in the Shin Megami Tensei series is the first game with the press turn system. So if you hit someone with a weakness, then you get an extra turn. If you pass, you get an extra turn and stuff, and it makes the combat more unique and interesting. Um, I think it also do introduces, like, the, it was the first 3D game. So, like, they brought Shin Megami Tensei into the 3D sphere for the first time ever, which was really interesting. And then uh, the game deals with a lot of, like, complex themes and things that people really enjoy, so... There's a lot to like about this game, me personally, and I guess you personally as well. I'm not the biggest fans of it. Um, I think the combat is really good. I think Shin Megami Tensei's combat is honestly sometimes more interesting than Persona's combat, because it makes you think a little harder. Um, other than that though, I'm not a big fan of the story. The, the lack of a story. And I don't like any of the characters, so... I think that's the thing that has to push me forward for our JRPGs. If it doesn't have a good story, then like I'm probably not gonna like it. Because I don't really like just grinding and just droning through, just attacking and like, you know fighting and things. I'd rather have fun with like a story that's kind of interesting to make me want to play more, you know? And if it doesn't have that, then I'm just you know, it's just not gonna be interesting and not gonna be fun for me to play. Right now, I'm having an okay time with it, but um, not as much fun as I, I would have playing like a Persona game or something. I think there's a reason why Persona is more well-liked um, than this game. Alright, let's try activating the switch from here. See if that does anything. If you're not a fan, why are you playing it? Trying to get your money's worth? Well, I've never played this game before, so I figured, you know, why, why don't I try it, you know? Because <clears throat> a lot of the games on stream that I've played, at least so far, are all games that I've already played. This is one of the first games that I have not played on stream. Well, Stranger of Paradise the other day was another game that I haven't played, but that was just a demo. But yeah, most games that we've played on stream are games that I've already played, like, um, Persona, like both Persona games, and then, uh, this, or not this game. Are the Persona games the only games I've played so far? I think so. Yeah. I don't think the game is horrible. But I'm not enjoying it as much as I would, like, a Persona game or something. And I am a little interested in the story. I want to see where it goes. Apparently there's multiple endings to this. So, I want to see the different endings. I also want to see the Dante fight. We didn't get a chance to do that because we played it before release, so the Dante DLC wasn't even out yet. I would have started the game on the Dante DLC um, if I would have known, but I did not, so. No Dante here. Okay. Let's try hitting this switch now. Will you operate it? Yes. <clears throat> okay. Oh.
don't like this switch, this little switch mini game. This is how I had it before. It's just the bottom is just, I don't know. There's only one switch on the bottom, and I'm thinking that you have to manipulate it on the top. Here. Oh, what a crit. time. Dodge, kiddo. Oh, there's another switch down here. I didn't realize that. There's a switch here, and there's a- oh, jeez. There's a switch here, and there's a switch on the top left. Are they all just- what the heck? <laughs> evasion slash hit rate. Hmm. If I had Secunda, that could be kind of interesting. Someone else has Rakunda, right? So, goodbye, Rakunda. Goodbye, Roman fees at Rakapovacis. I keep seeing those Google Fi commercials, and I hate them. That's the only good one. The one that goes like, goodbye. Roman Fees at Rekopovasi. I like that one a lot. I don't like the other ones, though. Because the other ones, they don't sound, like, good. I don't know. Alright, there's a switch here. We operate it. Yes. Yes! I am! Alright. Where are we going? Okay. Switch number two. Let's switch to this. Alright, we did it. 
Oh, we did not do it. I thought we did. Hopefully it moves this middle, top middle one. Okay, I was gonna say. About to get the second Wadi or whatever it's called, I forget. What are these weak to? Electric, I think. Or is it wind? I can always check. But I'm not going to. It's not electric. Maybe it's ice. is not ice. Maybe it's green. Well, we'll never know, because they dodged both of them. It is probably wind. Oh, Forney is finally leveled up. What is loan? I don't know what that is. Am I going the right way? Yes. I am! Whoa! Alright, that's enough. Just comes out of nowhere. I know, so you still don't know what Beast's Eye is. Oh, it's a different monster this time. Uh-oh, Yaka might be a problem. It's weak to ice slash light. Okay. Oh, nice crit. Don't miss, please. Say, don't you dare. Someday we have to watch JoJo with Polaris. Honestly, we should put that on our list. I think you would like it, but I'm not sure, actually. Because, you know, JoJo's is kind of... I feel like it's hit for a lot of people that don't really watch anime. But for people who do watch anime, I don't know. I mean, I enjoy it. Like, I think it's a pretty good show. I didn't think it would be as good as everyone says it was. But when I watched it, I actually really enjoyed it, so... I still really like part 4 the most. I think part 4 is the best part. It reminds me a lot of Persona 4, and I like Persona 4 a lot, so... Ah, oh, big miss. Alright, he's dead. I was gonna say... We got him a Mudo Rock. I think he'd like it, even though Part 1's admittedly a little hard to get through. That's true. I think Part 1, it sets the stage for the story. It shows you Dio. Dio's a really interesting villain. But, like, the halfway point of uh, Part 1 is kind of rough. After he gets trained by Zapelli and stuff, like, that entire portion where they're just fighting and stuff, 
not a big fan of. They use Hamon so, like, little in those parts where I'm just like, mm. I don't really know it, and I feel like it's not that interesting about power. And then you get the battle tendency, which is part two, and then you're just like, wow. I was dead wrong. Part two is really good. Still my, one of my favorite parts. Two and four are my favorite parts. So far. Can't wait till I get to part seven. Because everyone talks about that part. And I'm excited that they're adapting part six. We get to see the first female JoJo. So that's fun. Dismute. I'm just gonna analyze it. I don't remember what it's weak to. It's force. Okay. I think the pacing is a little slow in part one. It takes a while to get going, and they didn't need to put the backstory for those two random zombies. Not gonna lie, I don't even remember those random zombies. I guess if they're not important characters, then don't really talk about them, I guess. There's a spider here, so I'm just kind of shooing it away. Part 1 is where you meet Best Girl, Speedwagon. Speedwagon's actually so... Like, I don't want to, like, hypes him up and stuff, but, like, in Part 1, he doesn't really do much. The other parts is when he starts doing more and more, because, he, you know, his company does a lot of stuff. Oh, 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 there's one named Blueford who gave Jonathan the Luck Pluck Sword. That Luck Pluck Sword didn't really make much sense to me. I was trying to look it up, but it, it's, it's supposed to have some deeper meaning, but I don't remember exactly what it is. Speedwagon doesn't really do much in part 2 either, he's more of a meme than a kid. That's kind of true. <laughs> I just think that his Speedwagon Foundation thing is really uh, important. So, as a character himself, he's not that important, but as like a person who like, progresses a little further, like things in the future, I guess, he's kind of good. Some of the fights in part one are actually pretty hype though. Like there I think it's part one or part two, I can't remember. There's one fight where like um they're fighting with one of the Sapellis and like bad stuff happens. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it too much, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh, what are these corridors? They're in that one room where there's like a lock or something. I think that's part two. I could, I could be wrong. No, I think that is part one. Ooh, that was the wrong person to give it to, actually. I should have passed there, actually. Zanma. Boom. We need to get more chocolate drops. Oh, don't use Zan. Please don't use Zan. Use Zan and this guy, but not the other two. Got him.
I'm really excited to play the, um... They're remaking Dragon Quest 3, and I've never played a Dragon Quest game, but the way that they're remaking Dragon Quest 3 is with the team who did the Octopath games. And if you've seen what Octopath looks like, it's 2D, but it's like HD 2D. And everything is like really like clear and like the backgrounds pop and stuff, and you can go in and out of the background and stuff, and it's really cool. Um... It's a little complicated to explain, you just have to look at it yourself, but like, it's really cool. I'm excited. I probably will get it. I don't remember when it comes out though, but I probably will get it, and I'll play Dragon Quest. I'm a little worried though, because Dragon Quest has the same problem as this game. Where Dragon Quest doesn't really have much of a, like, a good story, and most of the gameplay is the exact same. Or, most of the gameplay is not really engaging. Like this game, where the gameplay is actually kind of interesting and deep. Uh, Dragon Quest gameplay is like, your straight, straight up turn based RPG. Like, there's not really any interesting things to it. There are no weaknesses, I don't think. I think you just hit enemies until they die, and that's it. There's nothing else. At least that's what I think it is. I could be wrong, because I've never played a Dragon Quest game before, so I'm just kind of just saying stuff. I played a little bit of 11, but from what I've played of 11, that's what it seems like it is, but I've only played so little of 11. But yeah, Dragon Quest is not popular in the States. It's probably a reason why. Probably because it doesn't change its formula, and it doesn't, it's not afraid to stay as what it is. Which is what Final Fantasy used to be, just a fantasy-like RPG. But the thing is, when Final Fantasy hit Final Fantasy VII, they started changing into more futuristic settings and things that are more interesting and more modern. While Dragon Quest always stayed, you know, the fantasy RPG. You know. It never took off in the West, like ever. Final, or, Dragon Quest XI is the one that took off in the West, but even then, it didn't. Like, I don't know many people who played that game. But people was... It's sad because when the newest Dragon Quest game is the best Dragon Quest game, I don't know. A lot of you are saying that Dragon Quest XI is the best Dragon Quest game, and I'm like, really? Pokemon doesn't change its formula either. It's probably how Dragon Quest was marketed. That's actually true. I didn't even think about that. Pokemon doesn't change its formula, but Pokemon has cute characters, and the combat is pretty fun, I guess. So... Well, Pokemon is literally Persona and Shin Megami Tensei's combat, where you hit someone with a weakness, and then they take more damage because they're hit with a weakness. So that's why when I tell people, if they like Pokemon, then you'll love Persona. And most of the time they do. I would say, hey, Persona 4 is on Steam, you could get it and you could play it yourself, but you watched my entire gameplay of it, so I don't think you need to. But if you want to experience it yourself, you can. It's pretty fun. I've already played Persona 4 like two times, and I played Persona 5 three times. But what game do I like better? Persona 4. We not only have Commander Ikawa, but also the Maiden. She'll be the foundation of the new world. So no matter how much demons like you cause trouble, we won't be disturbed. The world we desire has no need for emotions in the first place. What is with this maze, my guy? Oh, let's go this way. So I'm excited because Paramount Plus is rebooting iCarly. But it's not a kid's show anymore. It's like a more adult show where like they swear and stuff. And like it's still iCarly but like she's like an influencer now. Instead of like you know just making iCarly videos and stuff. And it looks really good and I want to watch it because iCarly is really good. But um, it's on Paramount Plus and I don't have that. That's one of the only streaming services that I don't have. Now let's finish this. Oh my gosh. How many times do I have to fight this guy? <laughs> What was this guy weak to again? Zeo? I don't remember. 
See, it would be nice if you just press R1 and you look at their abilities once you analyze them one time. But you have to analyze them every single time you want to do something, which is annoying. Okay, it's weak to Zeo, that's what it is. I was like, I don't remember what it was weak to. Didn't miss that time. A continuation I call it could be interesting if they go into how damaging it would be for a kid to have an internet, sh internet show for like a decade. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. That is, that would be kind of interesting. I'm thinking of like, how damaging it could be for a kid to be, have like an internet show for a decade, but I can't think of any like YouTubers who are still surviving that have streamed since they were kind of little. Moist Critical is kind of one of them, but he wasn't really a kid like they were in iCarly. He was more of like a, a high schooler or a college student, I think. And now he's like 28 or something, or 27, something like that, I can't remember. PewDiePie started when I think when he was like a high schooler as well. And he's still around, he's doing stuff. Miss. Oh, it didn't miss. Well, wow. okay. I'm trying to think of other YouTubers. Smosh is still around. They started when they were in high school. But they're kind of like doing their own things now. Uh, what else? Yeah, I can't. I can't remember anyone else. You know what? You know who I miss? Epic Meal Time. I don't know if they're still doing stuff, but their stuff is hype. Stone Gaze never hits. I swear. It could be funny too. She ends every conversation with don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> That'd be so funny actually. <laughs> it's it's really weird because since they turn into an adult show, they can swear now. So they're in the trailer, Spencer swears, and I'm like <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> I wanna watch it so bad though. Because iCarly, I rewatched it again with my sister, and they don't have all the episodes on Netflix, but they had a majority of them. <laughs> It's actually still super funny. <laughs> Let me tell you about this great game called Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> I don't th I don't think she's involved in that world, but maybe. Wagtail Plume. I don't know what that is. But first, let me talk to you about Raid Shadow Legends. It's this awesome mobile game. I've heard Raid, Raid Shadow Legends is not that great, but it is a mobile game, so... Can't talk down about all mobile games, though. I know that mobile games aren't the greatest things ever, but, like, there are some good ones. 
I just hate how mobile games are all like microtransaction based and stuff. this way. Something? Oh, we found the treasure room. We're wandering around for like an hour. Not even. We were wandering around for like probably 30 minutes at max. guys that's it for today i know it's sad final twitch stream it do be like that though yeah i explained it in the beginning of the stream but the reason why i'm stopping doing twitch is i have to edit for both channels so both my anti hype channel and my anti hype gaming channel now the anti hype gaming channel it doesn't take that much to edit these videos like um I put them on the timeline, I put the intro, I put the outro, and sometimes I edit the volume if it's too loud or not. Other than that, that's about it. But what happens is after that, I put it into a media encoder, which makes the file smaller so that it can actually manage on my hard drive. And then once it makes the file smaller, I put it onto YouTube. And all of that process takes about two to three hours every time. Whereas if I streamed on YouTube, everything would be there. There would be an intro, not really, but there'd be a sort of intro, I guess. Just like a loading screen, I guess. And then the game would start, and then I'll just end it, and then an archive would already be on YouTube. I wouldn't have to edit it, I wouldn't have to encode it, I wouldn't have to download it and upload it to YouTube. So, it's just easier that way for me, because editing my anti stuff is intensive. Well, this stuff isn't really, but it's more editing time, and I just don't have time for that. So switching over to YouTube. Hopefully, people will follow me over there. I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, I think that's everything. If YouTube's not working out, because YouTube has a lower follower base than my uh, uh, Twitch, so if it's not really working out, then I might come back here, but for right now, we'll just go to YouTube, I think. Um, but yeah, if you like today's content, please consider, I mean, if you want to, dropping a follow, but I'm not going to be using Twitch maybe ever again. I'm not sure. We'll see. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, please consider subscribing. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on YouTube from now on. So yeah.